So before we dive into the content, I'm going to give an overview of what you see on your screen so you're familiar with where we are as we go through the demo. Um, right now we are in the Get Inspired area. This is where you will find all of the market specific insights and inspiration. The Create area, you can navigate back and forth between. This is where you can manage all of your projects. Image Bank is where any of your images that you choose to save will be stored. MyFS is an area where you can personalize your username and password. And right here on this toolbar, you have all of the different markets that we cover. First, I'll start in our culture section and explain our methodology while I walk you through some different trend ports and how we connect all of the information in each market back to culture. Then I'll head into the women's area and show you the different reports available within each market. And then I'll go into the create area to highlight some of the project options and personalized features. For the team here at Fashion Snoop, all of the trends that we're forecasting in every market are really deeply rooted in some sort of cultural shift that we are reporting about in our culture section. So this is a really great place to start to find inspiration. Um, in our lifestyle section, we will cover different reports focusing on gender, wellness, uh, science and tech. Just to show you an example of what one of these look like, I'll click into this report called Women Now. Each report is a little bit different uh, in the objective, but for each one you'll have a quick overview on top explaining what this shift will be discussing. We'll also highlight what are the major key takeaways that you will get from reading through this report. We'll always provide some influencers with some more information for each influencer if you choose to read more or maybe access a link to another website. Then we'll break down some examples that fall underneath this idea. So for example, here we're discussing how the men's work environment is greatly shifting, giving you examples, uh, some women entrepreneurs, feminist business model, and so on. So you can really dive into the full scope of this idea. Um, influencers, this is an area where you can go to see um, some artists, designers, musicians that we are highlighting. Events, this is where you can read about some interesting art shows, consumer product trade shows, museum exhibits from around the world. Um, all of your market specific trade shows, so for example, a home show or a women's apparel show will live in their respective markets on top. Travel and food, this is where you can read some interesting stories about new hotel concepts, trending ingredients, dining experiences. Product, this section will highlight some examples, some cool innovative products, uh, cool interesting collaborations, lighting concepts, material callouts, um, and so forth. Merchandising will cover um, stories that are keeping you up to date with the most innovative stories in merchandising, um, some store experiences, creative spaces, and different concepts. You can also come here to find stories on packaging and branding and holiday windows. This macro trend area is where we pull together the top 10 cultural macro trends for the year. Um, in this section, we are going to continue to track all of these macro trends. And for the first time, we also identified color with each macro trends. And I'll show you what that looks like here. Um, so this one, Women Unleashed. Each map trend will have the same layout. So you'll always first have a nice page that will identify what it is that we are discussing within this macro trend. We'll give you a little bit of story underneath. We try to keep it very visual. Micro trends, this is where we will give you some smaller ideas that make up this larger conversation of women unleashed. So for example, here we're talking about the idea of girl power, modern feminism, motherhood now, and workplace equality. Uh, you can see on this graph here on the right side, you can see which story is trending uh, more heavily right now. And the way we are identifying that is through our media and social tracking. So here you can see some outside news articles that are relating back to these micro trends. Our culture team here is constantly looking for new articles that relate back to these ideas so you can keep your finger on the pulse of what's happening underneath um, this cultural shift. 
Product direction is key. This is where we're making the first connection from these cultural macro trends to some stories that our editors are creating as they pertain to product development. Um, so if you wanted to see how this idea of Women Unleashed relates back to a women's surface and material uh, report, you can click and see how this is connected here. And lastly, for each macro trend, we'll also identify a color that we're associating. For each color, we will provide first the name. We'll identify the RGB, CMYK. We give some really beautiful color mood videos. And then we'll give you some validating points on why we feel confident moving forward with this color. And then lastly, we'll show you the different color systems and their codes. So on the site, you'll always have the Pantone, CSI, and our chroma for each color that we are forecasting. So that's a brief overview of some of the reports that you can expect to see in our culture section. Now I will move into the women's area so you can see what the markets look like and the different categories that we have included in each one. Um, first, you'll notice when you click into the market, you have this sub navigation. Um, the navigation within each market is consistent, so it is very easy to find what you are looking for quickly, and we have a lot of different search functions included throughout the site to allow you to get that information quickly. For example, if I hover over this by category search, you'll see all different uh, keywords that you can select to pull out information. For example, if you didn't have time, uh, you wanted to sit down on the site and really quickly find a story that relates to junior young contemporary, you can select. This will pull you into a pre-refined search and give you any report that's been recently posted that has junior young contemporary information. I'll start in Visionary. Visionary is our long-term trend forecast. This is one to two years out from the season. Really here to give you those early signs of color, material, surface, um, and shape direction. Right now you can see that we already have our colors posted for the spring summer 2019 season. However, for the purposes of this demo, I'll show you what a complete season looks like so you can see all of the reports um, that you will get for every season. First, you'll see this macro trend connection report. Um, this is a really great visual to show you how we've arrived at this trend. Uh, so everything is connected throughout the, the service. You'll notice we have these maps. Um, they're really here to show you how we've arrived at this trend to give you that validation that you need uh, to feel confident in moving forward with any of these concepts. So you can see here, we actually just looked at the story called Women Unleashed in Culture. These are your 24 months ahead, months ahead early macro cultural signals. Um, you can see those little micro confirmations that we touched upon. And now you can see our editors have built out these four uh, seasonal product design directions, which are 18 months ahead of the season. So you can see here, engineered identity is a story that's directly related back to Women Unleashed. When you go into Visionary, You'll have your full visionary reports on, this, on the left navigation, or you can go right into a specific subset of each story. Um, I'll show you an example in here. We can go into the space between. Each story has the same layout. Again, very easy to find what you're looking for and understand where to go. Um, you'll notice you always have um, these creative tools on the top, sharing functionality on the right. I have it in a horizontal view, but you can change the view of the report if you wish to scroll instead. You'll always have a cover with a nice overview explaining what this theme is about, giving you backgrounds on some of the influencers. Then we go straight into your color elements. We'll always provide you with the palette and associate it with an item. You can change the color system here very easily. Color usage will give you some suggested color combinations with the appropriate dosage for each color. Then we'll go into some mood boards with a nice overview underneath each one. We also give video for all of our trend stories. These are really great just to bring the feeling to life, engage the senses, show you maybe some pattern direction or color usage. Um, and all of the clips that we incorporate in these videos are really trying to call out some of our creative and cultural influences. So nothing's in there by accident. 
you can see here, um, connecting back to culture always. So here are some of our creative influencers. If you wish to read more about any one of these influencers, um, film, artists, museum exhibits, pulling from all different areas, cultural influences, showing you which cultural macro trends is this visionary story related to. We'll give you some surface and material directions. So this is where we will drill down into more product direction. For the mood board at Vinary, we'll, we'll show you how this material can be applied for the apparel industry, for home and accessories. Pattern and graphic direction, same idea here. Inspirational imagery and some key pattern callouts on the right. And then lastly, we will give some shape and detail direction for this trend. So that's the general layout for each one of the visionary reports that we post every season. You can see on the left navigation here, we also have an area for active specific visionary stories, intimates as well. Also, you can go into this original artwork area to download any of the artwork that we've created. Um, they're all royalty free vector files that you can download with the click of a button. After visionary, I will move into forecast. Um, so just to take a step back quickly, we kind of started in culture. Um, from those cultural macro trends, we give you visionary narratives. Then after the visionary narratives are posted, uh, once we confirm these trends through what we're seeing happen on the runway, what we're seeing in early innovative uh, trade shows, we give you a more close to season product driven forecast. And you can find all of that information here. Um, right now, again, you can see we're in fall, winter 18, 19. I'm going to go back to spring 18 so you can see all of the great reports that you'll have every season. You'll see here another roadmap just to visually show you how we've gotten here again. Um, so you can see these are some visionary stories that we posted last year, and these are the narratives and trend stories that are connected back. Again, just another way to keep on the same track if you're interested in one particular feeling. So months after the cross-market visionary forecasts are live, our editors use the intelligence gained from the runways, like I mentioned, in trade shows to develop these narratives that you see here that confirm and validate those original visionary forecasts. So these narratives provide more concise core me messages that drive the season. Each narrative branches out to include fashion snoops trend stories, which further explore trends on more of a capsule level here in your trend stories. Um, so I'll show you a quick example of what one of these narratives look like. You can see the layout is similar. We have some more information because we are closer to season. Cover, mood board, another video for this trend, your color direction. You'll have a palette on the side. Um, all of these palettes are dynamic. So if you were interested in learning more about a particular color, you can click for a more in-depth analysis. Uh, give color a lot of attention on all of our reports. You can see here you have a series of different insights for each color. Um, first, we will give you the color evolution. So how has this color changed or evolved from previous seasons to now? Uh, what are some suggested color combinations um, that we have seen that we are suggesting to you? We'll also provide a Pinterest board with some inspirational imagery using this color. And also, what other narratives for this season are using this particular color? After color, we'll go into a style guide. This is a really great one-pager. I like to call it a cheat sheet. Everything that you need for this trend on one page. Great to print out have on the table for a meeting. A word bank. These are very popular just to help you have those key buzzwords to help define the trends. This could be great for marketing, sales teams that need to present these ideas in meetings. Influences, again, connecting back to culture, showing you maybe an artist or singer that is influencing this trend. And we'll go into material direction. This will be a collage with your call out underneath. Design details, same concept here with your call out underneath, just some great updates, pattern and graphic direction, 
original artwork, like I mentioned earlier, very easy to download and use any of these. All you do is hover over the download and there is your vector file. Core must-haves, this is where we're going to drill down and give you those items that should be incorporated within this look. Um, so here you can see you have each item called out, slip dress, shirt dress underneath. Three different ways to update or interpret this item. Seasonal map, just another way to show you how we connected this back to a visionary and some other related trend capsule stories that you can check out that are similar. And then the trend map at the end will show you more high level where we are, are coming from for this story, connecting it back to a cultural level, uh, maybe some runway shows that inspired this idea or validated this idea all the way to where we are now. Now I will show you an example of a trend story. So these, like I said, are a little bit more um, micro edits to the seasonal narratives. The overall macro directions for next season are validated even further through these stories and appeal to specific classifications. Um, so keeping in line with the story that I just showed you, Quest, this is a trend story that is related called Medina. A new mood board. We also incorporate Pinterest within each story so you can get an additional library of more supporting imagery. Color direction. Design updates. So here are some material callouts, design details, pattern and graphic direction. Four must-haves, again, those key items, and we'll always give some more supporting photos each one. So if you wanted to see some different ways to create the cargo pant, for example, you can scroll through these more photos. Underneath each photo, we have credit to the designer, city, and season that this runway photo was taken from. You also have the ability to save any of these photos in the left navigation. So while you're working, if you wanted to save any of these images, you can quickly create a folder and then just drag and drop while you work. Again, this seasonal map is here to show you how we've gotten to this particular trend story. So if you wanted to see the overall themes for the season, giving you more of that thematic approach. Here you'll have the stories like I just showed, but if you wanted to drill down to more of the key items or materials, details that we're forecasting for the season, you can just enter any of these reports. Color as well. Uh, a client favorite is our merchandising matrix. This is a really great bird's eye view of the season showing you along the top what are those key items that we're forecasting and on the left what are the stories that they fit into. Um, so let's say you wanted to move forward in developing um, the story trailblazers. This is how um, you can go about the rework shirt, asymmetric skirt, wide leg pant. Um, you also have more photos for each item within the matrix again. Our forecasted key item report is another client favorite. This is where we will give you all of the key items broken down by category. So you can go in, um, see here, woven tops, you'll have an index for each of the important items, and then again, those more supporting photos. Keep in mind as I go through this demo that every image that you see, every report, you can use as ingredients for when you go into the create area to build out a project. After forecasts, we give you an area where we give you the full analysis of all the major runway shows. Um, this is your drop down menu for the season. We also give you reports broken up in two different ways. You can go into a specific city and see all of the different reports that we are posting. 
or you can go down here and search by design element. Um, so if you wanted to go into, for example, our trend confirmation, um, this is something that definitely sets Fashion Snoops apart from some other services, is how we are constantly tracking and confirming the trends that we are forecasting. This visual is really great just to show you the visionary that we posted 12 to 17 months ago, trend stories that I just showed. Now we're going to confirm what we forecast on the runway all the way through to how it hits at retail. Um, so you can see if I go into the women's confirmation, these are trends that we forecasted all the way back in January of 2016 in a visionary called Revolution. Um, then that evolved into a trend story riveter and now you can see how it kind of came to life through the runway. And again, more photos. You can also go into a key item report, for example, um, or a theme report. We'll break it down for women and young contemporary or and you can go into a specific city report. Um, just to show you a quick example, if I go into women's themes for the runways for fall winter 17, you can see here we break down each theme, give you a nice quick overview of what that theme is all about and more photos. Our runway section is basically just your image library for the runways. Runway analysis, we will curate that information for you. Runway, you can do your own image search and pull together um, your images as you wish. Here, you have your quick find, so you can select search by designer, city, or product category. This is a really great way, if you were interested in just seeing knit tops from the fall, winter 17, 18 runways, you can select knit tops. This will open up our image library search, which you can also access right here. And this will pre-refine the search right here to be knit tops. Knit tops, women, runway for the season that we were just in. And you can see you have over a thousand images. You can view full screen, which is really nice. Another thing that our clients really love is the ability to zoom in even further. So if there was a detail on a jacket or a pant um, that you wanted to save, you can zoom in and really maintain that resolution crop just this detail, add it to your folder, add a note if you wish, and it'll be waiting for you in your create area. In our retail section, um, a bunch of great reports on the left side. Again, you have that same image search right here, searching by store, city, or product category again. Um, our store reports, this is where you can find some real um, Floor shots from the image. We also incorporate e-com photos as well to show you an example um, in Zara Home in Barcelona. Um, just a few days ago, we had a researcher in the store take a total of 44 images. We also provide previews. Um, this is where you can see what to expect to be in the store for whatever season you're looking at. Um, so we get invited into the showroom as press and are able to provide images. So as you can see here, um, some nice clear images of what all things will be showing for fall. If you go into retail trends, this is another area where we are confirming um, some of the trends that we forecasted earlier. So as you can see, you have some different filter options just to show you that trend confirmation and how we do it. Um, Medina is the story that I just showed you earlier. You can see the forecasted trends and some of those items and how we're seeing them come to life at retail. Trade shows, we cover all of the major industry trade shows uh, within each market. And there are a few different ways you can go about your search and trade show. Um, you can go into a particular show if you wanted to see the exhibitors and key takeaways from one show. Or you can go into our global recaps, which are really great. For example, if I go into um, the trend recap for fall 17, you can see here we've curated all of the information for you. If you wanted to just see what are those key items um, that were shown at those key trade shows for fall winter, here you have everything laid out for you and again you can take any of these photos and open them in the create area to make your own project or recap. 
which I will show you as we go through. Our street style section is where we have our own fashion snoops photographers outside of different trade shows, festivals, fashion weeks, cool events, really zooming in on what these attendees are wearing. Um, this is one of my favorite sections. You'll see we do highlights on maybe just one particular item or you can go into a full event. Um, so for example, Governor's Ball, we will give you a breakdown for women, men, accessories, You'll see an index here of some of those key looks, a highlight summary underneath, and those more photos. After street, we have a sketch library. This is where you can go in to download any original sketches broken down here for you by category. And then lastly, within each market, we have that by category search. Um, so like I said if you wanted to see any recent report, for example, that is focusing on color. This is showing you the thumbnail um, for each report that you can access. Um, you can save any of these searches if you find yourself always looking for color or a specific season or market. So now that I've walked you through some of those insights that you can get from our Get Inspired area, I'm going to quickly show you how you can take all of this information and immediately start building your concepts in our Create area. Um, so if you go into a trend story, so now that I've shown you some of the reports that you can expect to see each season in our Get Inspired area, I'm going to show you how you can leverage all of this information to immediately start building your concepts right within the platform in our Create area. So there are two general ways of going about this. Um, one, you can start from scratch using our templates and maybe importing some of your own images with your own product, incorporating some of our images from the service. Or you can take our reports and use them as a baseline, um, as a template using our images that we've used to build these reports. So I'm going to start in a trend story to show you how you'd go about this. Um, all of these tools that you've been seeing throughout the site here are how you would take this information and bring it over to the create area with just a click. So if you were interested in, for example, this story activist, you can select the edit now. This is going to take this report and load it as a project. And just to give you a sense of what's going on, oops. So now you can see this trend report has loaded in the create area as a project. So now everything here on the right side is your workspace. On the left side is where you can source images and colors to build your own mood boards, collages, palettes, and essentially full products. I'm um, sorry, projects. Um, the images here that you can see that have already been preloaded are the more photos that our editors have included in their trend reports. Um, so while you're working, if you wanted to sub something out and quickly add a different photo, you can drag and drop using the ingredients that we use to build the report or you can go into the image bank and pull in some images maybe that you've saved on your own or that you've uploaded into your image folders. Here's the color section. Um, you can move around any of these colors, play with the dosage of these. Um, on the left side, the same way you source images, you can source color by quickly searching a Pantone, selecting, dragging and dropping it into your palette. Uh, there are so many great features included in this area, many more than time will allow for this demo, so I'll just highlight some of our client favorites. 
Um, first being the comment ability. So let's say you were working on a project and you wanted to run an idea by a colleague. Uh, it's very simple to just click the comment option, maybe highlight over this pant here. Uh, and I want to say to my colleague, Allison, hey, Allison, check this out. What do you think? As soon as I post this, Allison is going to get a notification and she can go in and comment in real time. Another client favorite is the ability to share any of these reports. Um, so what you can do on the top right here, um, after saving any of these um, projects, you can export them um, as a JPEG, vector, PDF, or print, or share. Under the share section, you have the ability to share with users inside of your company um, or external. Uh, if you go in, I can select a user. So in this case, I want to share it with Allison. You can set her permissions. So I'm going to say Allison can only comment on my report. Um, you can write a little note, share it, and she'll get this report in an email. If I go into the share section, you have the ability to share any of your projects with users inside of your company or externally. Uh, so in this case, let's say I want to share it with Allison. I'm going to give her the permission to comment only. You can write a note and click share. Um, once you click share, anything that you have shared with someone or shared with you will be right here under your shared projects. Another favorite. Uh, amongst our clients with how to use this create area is the ability to immediately present anything that you've created. Um, so all you would need to do is quickly, if you wish, add your logo, add a title. Um, so market week, submit, click present, and now the report that you've just created or edited can be presented. The last thing that I want to highlight is our area that we call MyFS. Uh, this is a great place to go to personalize your entire Fashion Snoops experience. Um, so we know that you don't have a lot of time and if you are looking for specific information, you are always able to set your preferences. Um, our trend alerts is a place where you can go to choose which categories are interesting for you and once we post a report in this area, you will get an email alert with a link to that report. You can also customize your homepage, your newsletter preferences, um, and any reports that you've saved for later use. So in summary, um, today I showed you first our culture section, which is where everything really begins for our editors here. Uh, then I went into the women's section, show you how our more product-driven reports are connected back to those cultural macro trends. And then I went into the create area to show you how you can take our information and immediately start building out your concepts without having to leave fashion snoops.